Seven Trumpets Prepper. Guys, in this video today, we're gonna be doing an Apoca Box review. Um, get everything out here, out of the box. This month. Okay, just making sure we got information list. And so this for this month we've got uh, for the box that we're reviewing today we've got the tobacco hawk and the contents list. We've got Creek's updated tobacco hawk, got survival utility panel, you dig it survival trout bushcraft fishing kit, Stacy Lens preserving 101, and Man pocket knife. Uh, that's made in Portugal. We'll go over all these individually. Um, do the tobacco hawk. I mean, it's funny because I actually have used um, that type of device in the tobacco fields many, many times in my early um, teenage years, and I don't miss it at all. <clears throat> so, start with, we've got the You Dig It Survival Trial. I think this goes without saying. You need to ease yourself out in the woods or out there and about. Uh, you can dig you a hole to drop it in. And... Uh, it's got a carabiner where you can clip it onto your backpack. I think it's actually like feather light, guys. Super lightweight. So that's a pretty cool little gadget. Next up, we've got Stacy Lynn's Handbook Preserving 101 Canning, Freezing, and Drying. Let's get out here. Got all sorts of info. Drying meats, canning. Watched my grandmother do this a many, many time over the years, guys. This is an art. If you're gonna be a homesteader, prepper, wanna live off the land, this is like something you've got to learn to thrive. I'm serious, I'm telling you from living on a farm, especially with the cost of living going up nowadays. Um, pretty neat little book right there. There's the ISBN number. I'm gonna get a hold of that book. Okay. Hard copies of things. It's super critical to have too because one day in case the grid's gone, in case your laptop's gone, power's gone, and I can just keep going with all the redundancy issues, you cannot beat a book, okay? I have boxes of books stashed back just for when hard times come, okay? Next up, we've got the Mam Pocket Knife. Um, says, Mam Knives Made in Portugal is one of my all-time favorite knife brands. Uh, the old world charm of uh, Mam Knives, uh, he's talking about here, it reminds him of his grandpa, uh, Creek's talking about. He says the blade is hand sharp and the company fork and bottle cap remover are perfect for the everyday carry. Addition to the blade, the folded two and a half inch blade is for, perfect for managing all the small details of any outdoor adventure. So let's take a look, see at it. Got our bottle opener for Coca-Cola. Glass Mexican Coca-Colas, they're the very best. Although if you're trying to watch your sugar intake, probably not the best thing. Um, there's a fork. And lastly, got our knife. These folks have been at it since 1870, folks. That's a long time, buddy. Long time. And the test drive. Pretty sharp. Pretty sharp. There you go right there. Portugal since 1870. All right, next up we've got a survival utility panel. It's a two foot by two foot waterproof utility panel. Has countless applications. Um, so this can be used as a waterproof seat, table cover, food prep area, floor mat, shelter tent, entry mat, for sure boot removal in inclement weather. Um, be a waterproof space for prepping fire materials and kindling. One side is printed with a camouflage pattern of the outline of the state of Kentucky and the other side is printed with signal, uh, sorry, let me reread that. One side is printed with a camouflage pattern of the outline of the state of Kentucky. The other side is printed with signal orange so that this panel can double as a rescue or blazing marker. Best part is that it folds down, small and is easy to stow in a pack or jacket. All right, take a look at this. Blaze orange, okay, and camo. Still trying to understand the Kentucky thing. 
John, are you seeing it? Wait, what? Oh, I, I get it. I get it now. It's kind of got, like, like right here. I mm -hmm. see it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very cool. Camo. Orange. Camo. All right. Next up, something my son will love. Fishing. Let me repeat. Fishing. <laughs> if you're a man, you can probably appreciate fishing. This kit is made in the United Kingdom. BCB International Fishing Kit. Contents, contents are line approximately 36 meters, which there's three feet and a meter, so there's 12 foot of line, I believe, that's correct. A winder, two swivels, two hooks, two weights, and two lures. Uh, somebody's gonna correct me and be like, there's 3.255 in a meter. <laughs> right? Oh man, so there's the line. And we've got, oh, check that one out, John. It's pretty cool. We should go do a fishing challenge. Yeah, oh, look at that one. That's like a little neon ones we've used before. Work pretty good. We, I, we used to take the kids fishing a lot in Cub Scouts. I'd get the boys these uh, yellow fake baits. And they were a little bit thicker than this and had a uh, wider tail. Tell you what, you just wire it out with the bluegill and stuff. Um, so there's your weights and some hooks in case you want to throw your nerf worm on there. It's pretty much everything you need to do right there other than a stick to tie it off on in a pinch, guys. So that's pretty cool. Now, if you've never lived on a farm and you've never raised tobacco, you're not going to understand just how intense um, you can almost chop your leg off with this uh, out there in the field trying to get low on the stalk um, to get the tobacco. But that one right there, it's got a nice hook back. Ours is just is like guillotine, dude. I'm telling you about to take your leg off. You ain't, you get too big a hurry out there. Put this together here real quick. All right, guys, so here is the finished tobacco hawk. Um, like I said, now our, the ones I've always used, they're pretty much like a guillotine um, type blade. Uh, this one right here, you can come in with it, and then also it's got the hook back so you can come take it away. But keep in mind when using something like this, it's always in and away from you, though, through, pass through. Because I'm telling you, you come back with that into you, it can be really bad. So anyway, that's the tobacco hawk. And a handy little tool for out there in the field. Uh, a lot of uses for this. Um, outside of tobacco, I will say. And guys, that's pretty much the box for this month. If you haven't checked them out, check them out at amacabox.com. And as always, till we see you again here at the channel, have a most blessed day in Yakushua now.